I'm sitting here in the gazebo at Victoria Park in downtown Milton, where a memorial, a commemoration of the 215 Aboriginal children who never made it home. On Friday, when I heard the news, um, obviously, like many people in our nation, um, we were completely devastated um, by the atrocities that have happened to our Indigenous people, specifically students in residential schools. Um, I have family that does have Indigenous blood, and so this really hit home to me. And as I was lying in bed late on Saturday night, not being able to sleep, I thought I need to do something about this. We need to honor these children. We need to honor their heritage um, and we need to start the healing process. So I reached out to an amazing group of women on Facebook, you gotta love Facebook, uh, Milton Mummies. And I said, you know, I'm looking to um, receive 215 pairs of shoes so that we could do uh, a a, a memorial for these for these children and of course the outpouring from the community was absolutely amazing and within i'd say less than 48 hours we had over 215 pairs of shoes i was actually connected through that posting to an indigenous gentleman in our community um william and um he was trying to do the same thing so the both of us connected and we decided that we wanted to to join together to um, memorialize the, these children. Um, so he um, has a wonderful family of six children. Um, and I brought my eldest son with me and um, it was the children who set up the, um, uh, the shoes. And uh, earlier in the day, William had been presented um, by an elder with a gift of moccasins, um, tobacco and sage. So we had them placed in the center and then all the shoes around. Um, and then we did uh, a land acknowledgement and we thought for a while as, as you know, this land is, is not our land, this land was stolen um, and we need to value uh, what, what we have um, and live upon. So we did that, we paused for a moment and then um, William said a few words uh, and then the silence started. We were reading a lot and seeing a lot of footage about uh, about the residential school kids and we were wondering if that's the one for the mem memorial of, of the 215 kids. So we just came here to take some pictures and to see these shoes laid out. It just, it hits you, it really hits you. Like just hearing about it is one thing and then seeing it actually happening, uh, it's, it's heartbreaking, it's totally devastating. And working with children, I mean, I don't know how how people could do that but i don't know it's it's it, i can't there's no words to explain to be honest it's it's really really sad and unfortunate that it's happened if you haven't seen this memorial yet you can stop by at victoria park to do so as it will be here for the nine days the 215 hours one hour devoted to each child